Hi besties, welcome back to Luna CV Strategies. If you're new here, welcome to the CV Study channel. My name is Luna and my passion is to demystify the CV exam and boost your chances of passing. Recently, I have received many questions from my mentees who have just started on their CV journey and are getting familiar with Notia, aka the CPA Handbook and Income Tax Act. So this is the video for you guys to show you how to navigate it and quickly find the content you need. Let's begin by discussing what you can expect in the CV exam. For both day two and day three, you will have access to both the Handbook and the Income Tax Act. You can utilize the handbook for A or AOs related to financial reporting, assurance, and taxation. When it comes to financial reporting AOs, the structure to reach competency is super important. You must first identify the issue, then apply case facts and standards to analyze the issue, and finally conclude on the issue while justifying the impact on the overall financial statements and the users. For those commonly tested AOs, such as revenue recognition, PPE versus inventory, you should aim to memorize the standards. During the exam, especially on day three, when time constraints are significant, you won't have the time to open the handbook and search for those commonly tested criteria. To help you with this, I'll be preparing a separate video introducing these common AOs, so you will know which ones are essential to memorize. Now let's dive into Notia. Realistically, it's impossible to memorize all the standards you might encounter. CPA Canada loves to challenge candidates with one or two uncommon nails that have never been tested before. So it's important to understand how to navigate Notia and locate the relevant sections and paragraphs you need to use. Notia is a website designed for assessing and reading the CPA Canada handbook. As you can see from the table of contents, it covers accounting, assurance, public sector, accounting, and even some archive stuff. You can think of it as an Adobe Reader for an exceptionally large PDF. However, here's a critical point. During the CV exam, the Control F function will be disabled. You won't be able to search for keywords using this function. And surprisingly, many candidates were not aware of this until they were in the final exam. And imagine investing six months in dedicated study for a CV only to find out your actual writing got challenged simply because the control F function is disabled. So the big challenge during CV exam is the absence of the control F function. You might, you might be wondering how to efficiently search for keywords. In Notion, searching for terms like bill and hold Let's see. It will give you results for each of these words individually, and it can be quite annoying and time consuming. So here's the trick. You just put the entire phrase in quotation marks when you type it into Notion. It will direct you to where you can find information about it. So if we click the hyperlink, the keywords will be highlighted and you can refer to hyperlink of B79 or B82. And let's say you already know the information you need is in accounting 15, but you just got lost in the hundreds of paragraphs. So here's what you need to do. You input, view and hold and check the box in front of IFRS 15. Then hit enter. Then click on the keywords and it will take you to the highlighted sections. For example, paragraphs B79, B82, it will provide guidance on build and hold arrangements. Under paragraphs B81, in order to meet the bill and hold arrangement criteria, all of the following criteria have been met. So these will be the criteria you will have to use when you analyze the issue. When studying accounting standards, it's often necessary to go back and forth, comparing criteria from different sections. However, the section can get quite crowded 
and when you click on other standards, the window refreshes, making it challenging to compare them seamlessly. So here's a handy trick to make the process more efficient. You just need to right click the standard you're working with and select open document in new window. In this way, you can easily compare multiple standards without worrying about the previous window closing. Let's just exit the full screen here. So this will make your study experience much more smoother and productive. You just right click it, open document in the new window. And yeah, and that's it. You can compare them. Now let's discuss the Income Tax Act. In general, we don't recommend using the ITA exclusively during day three of the CFE since it can be time consuming and it's not as straightforward as accounting standards. However, having a basic understanding of its framework is still important. The ITA is structured in a way similar to the flow we use to calculate taxes payable. We start with net income for tax purpose, subtract deductions to get taxable income, then apply federal tax rates and subtract eligible tax credits to determine our final tax liability. Within the Income Tax Act, you can see a similar structure. And when you click on Part 1, Division B, you will find a breakdown of subdivisions that collectively add up to the net income for tax purpose. If you have questions about specific types of income or Division B deductions, such as home office expenses, car expenses, or moving expenses, this is the section you should go to. Next, look into Division C for a computation of taxable income. Common deductions in this section include stock options deductions, capital gain deductions, and capital losses credits. If you are unsure about any of these, this is where you should turn for clarification. Lastly, when it comes to available tax credit, such as the basic personal amount, pension, tuition credit, and more, you can refer to Division E for further guidance. The understanding of the basic structure of ITA will serve as available resources during the CV exam prep, even though you may not need to delve deeply into it on day three. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I want to take a moment to wish each and every one of you the best of luck on your CV journey. I know it can be tough, but the results will definitely be rewarding. If there's anything you would like a refresher on or any topics you would like me to cover, please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.